Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to deal with some of the stubborn Excel nomadic fields. So it happens often when you download some of the statements from some tools, for example, SAP, from uh, Oracle, or from some web-based kind of statements. When you download them, you get data in kind of format that we have here. This is just for uh, demonstration purpose. So in this data, you can see there are spaces everywhere. So you can find the spaces in between the numbers. You can find the spaces at the very end of the numbers. You can find the spaces at the start of the numbers. and and importantly, these are not considered as spaces or correctors, but these are these are some gaps inside the data. So these are null values which are appearing there. So we need to move them out. So what ideally I or you will do is we'll go for the trim or clean kind of formulas or substitute formulas. Or worst case scenario, we'll just go to find and search the blanks and replace them with nothing. But in this case, I tried all of them and it didn't work. So if it happens with you, when you try all the formulas and it doesn't work, don't worry. Now I'm gonna give you a combination of two formulas which can clean everything, almost everything. So this is very convenient, handy, and um, I believe this is gonna be helpful for you. So in this data, where as I mentioned, I have some spaces in this middle, some start, some ends, anywhere you find it. So imagine if it's thousands or millions of data. So you are playing with it now and you can go one by one on each one of these uh, cells and replace and uh, like delete all this unnecessary or unwanted data, which is which is avoiding you to actually calculate anything. You can see nothing is working here, no nothing. So this is not really comparable. This is not really kind of evaluable. So it's nothing data. So the formula that I would like to share with you is starts with is equal to trim and then clean and Again, then another formula that is substitute. So, do so all of these things, and now I can see that I've misspelled everything. So I'll go back and I'll type it again. Sorry, I have a very strange keyboard, so I have to do it. Trim and clean, and then I will start another parenthesis, and I'll type here substitute, substitute, and. After that, I will give a cell reference. So we have here B2. So B2, then comma, some of you uh, who have French keyboards, they will not have comma, rather it should be semicolon, uh, even with the Hungarian keyboard. So if you have local keyboard where you don't have this comma working in the formulas uh, or in, the, in these functions, so kindly use a semicolon. This goes like this one. So for your local keyboards, use semicolon if you need it, but if you're using standard English, US, or British version, you don't need it. So right after that, you have to put another formula that is corrector, and uh, we'll limit it here to 160. Uh, close parenthesis, sorry, there's another one, yep. And uh, we'll close parenthesis, but before that, since we use substitute, so we'll substitute these things which are not visible at the moment with the uh, nothing so you see it's nothing now i will close it close it close it the formula you can also find in the bottom of the video and from there you can copy it it's not a problem so don't worry about this formatting that you can see on the screen so just focus on the way it's working so the moment i press enter you can see it didn't work here but definitely it will be working on most of the most of the ones they are down there so let's let's consider consider this one a formula one and uh, now let's type formula two, because this is not fully clean. So we need to really, really make it clean. So now I will go to the contemporary substitute formula, substitute, then uh, put it, put in the text. Yes, this is a cell reference. Then I will show it spaces. So you can see here the spaces, I put the space, but it's not exactly where it should be. So I'll give a space myself manually. There you see, it's now a space. So my Excel understands that I should substitute this space from that cell with what? With nothing, so this is nothing. So there is no space in between. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go and close the parenthesis. That's it guys, story finished here. I will simply <clears throat> apply this formula all around till down here you can see it's working perfect. Wow, cool. So now it's working perfectly fine. If you want to uh, kind of take this out as values, Control C, I have here Control V or paste values. It shows you something like it should be converted to numbers. Yes, please do it. Here we go. Simply go to home, comma, 
convert it to the text format and there you see beauty so now we have here maximum sum everything you can see on the screen so this is our paste values there we go guys this is your number and if you have any 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 sort of stubborn number uh kind of kind of columns stubborn numbers cells do it apply it and by all means it's easy it goes around and if you have still any issues with any one of these where you cannot employ it refer it to me uh, i will definitely give it a try and help you to find a solution for that i hope you enjoyed guys and looking forward to talk to you again enjoy your day talk to you then Bye bye